Outlander questions, how could Galus be in the 1960s after dying in the 18th century? Diana Gabaldon has set rules for time travel in her series. This helps answer a few of the questions about the characters, mainly how Galus Duncan could possibly be in a future time period after dying in an earlier one. Outlander season 2's finale saw Galus in 1968. However, Considering the third season later revealed that she was in Jamaica in the 18th century and died in a cave, that led to many fans questioning some important plot points. One of the biggest Outlander questions is just how Galus managed to be in the 20th century after her death. This is where time traveling gets confusing. While Diana Gabaldon clearly has rules for time travel, they're not always explained, and they're explained more in the books than they are in the show for time-constrained reasons. It's not surprising that the Galus question has come up more than once in Facebook fan groups. While time runs linear, that's not quite the case for all the characters. Just because you see Galus in the past doesn't mean that she can't be in the future after her death. It's all linked to where she is in her timeline specifically. The Galus you see in 1968 is younger than the Galus you see in 1743 and then in the 1760s. She was born sometime in the 20th century and made the decision to travel to the past through the stones in 1968. That took her to sometime around the 1730s or very early 1740s a little before the Jacobite Rebellion of 1745 to ensure she had time to make a name for herself and gain money to support the cause to do everything she could to help boost the chances of success. Of course, this didn't go to plan and she ended up on trial for witchcraft. The Galus you then meet in Jamaica in the 1760s is from after the trial. She'd managed to escape and married again. When she dies in the 1760s in the cave that's the end of her life. Regardless of whether time is linear or a loop, Galus life starts in the 20th century and ends in the 18th century. When it comes to her time of birth again, She'll be born in the 20th century, unless something happens to her lineage along the way. Are you confused about time travel in Outlander? Do you have Outlander questions about characters in multiple timelines? Share your questions in the comments below.